we often don't associate homelessness with children. Um, and we, we often refer to our students as the invisible population because you don't necessarily see children living outside, but we have seen that. It's a crisis and the numbers are increasing. Right here in Cincinnati, we served almost 4,000 children last school year who were living in homeless situations, so this is a problem. Project Connect is an organization that began 25 years ago that works directly with families and students every day. We have a resource center where we have um, uniforms, backpacks, and school supplies. We also have hygiene kits. We've already, and this is only the second week of school, um, we've already served 800 students. At Dawn School, the enrollment is about 1,100 students. Roughly a third of those students are homeless, according to the school's director. Uh, it's a lot more over the last couple of years that it's just been, you know, uh, it's a little bit out of control. I mean, you know, kids are coming in, they're, they're couch surfing, and, you know, it's a real serious issue because we do expect them to still come in and, and be productive, and it's just, you know, it's very difficult. The average age of a homeless person is only nine years old. Families comprise 40% of the homeless population. Children experiencing homelessness change schools seven to eight times per year. Renee is the mother of two young children. She asks us not to show her face. She's been without a place of her own for a couple of months. It's been very hard. She's just glad they can stay with family members for now and not in a shelter. The government need to stop what's going on with this coronavirus, stop shutting down jobs, shutting down apartments, and they need to be here for low-income families. We do have so many families who are working hard and just cannot afford housing based on their salary. Yeah, and Rebecca Beach said this is a very, very hard cycle to break. Affordable housing and a livable wage are the primary shackles linked to homelessness. Now, Project Connect is providing Wi-Fi for kids living in places where they can't get Internet access. This program does all it can to stay connected with families, help students. I want you to just imagine uh, virtual learning in a shelter. School was their outlet and in many cases, their safe haven. I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5.